Hi there. This video will instruct you how to make an eight inch rose using the anemone mini flower template. So you're going to cut everything according to the instructions at the beginning of this video, but I also have a PDF guide available on Facebook in my group, Photofab Paper Flower Makers Group. So if you go to the dot guides and then select super size mini flowers, you will see the anemone rose. So again, cut everything according to the instruction document and I'm using petal design number one. So with that template, there are two petal shapes that come with that. And also the sepal is totally optional and the leaf. So what I like to do is style my leaves. So you're gonna use an embossing stylus. So this one is from Dollar Tree. And all I like to do is add the veining to it. So just draw a line down the center and then another line towards it. And then we just add lines towards that center line. So it creates almost like a V shape. And if you flip it over, then you can see the veining. And then I just come down the other side And again, if you flip it over, you can see those veins. I also like to go over it with my metal ball stylus tool. So I literally will just trace over those lines. I don't worry about it if it's exact. I just really want to emboss the veining in there. And it also kind of, it kind of, it does shape your um, leaf. Then you can take your um, dowel rod and you can always um, roll it every which way. Give it a little bit of shape, a little bit more, just because a leaf is usually crinkled. And I, I cut too. And mostly my cutting of leaves is for um, photos. So now with the sepal, I like to cut two of them. And we're gonna do the exact same thing. So you're gonna add your veining and then we're gonna style it with the quarter inch dowel rod. So again, I take first my embossing stylus and I draw my line down. So you do wanna place your um, sepal on a flower shaping mat. And you're doing the exact same thing. You're just adding those veins down each petal. Okay, again, down. And then our last leaf. And then I like to, again, emboss the lines.
I'm just going over my same lines just to give it a little bit more definition. And then you can also see it lifts them up and shapes them. Okay, draw your line down. Then take your quarter inch dowel rod, place it randomly on your leaves and just curl different directions, just like you would see like a crinkled up leaf laying in your yard or on the street corner. <laughs> Just curl it randomly. Again, we're just randomly rolling any of the leaves up. Okay, now you're all set to create your eight inch rows. So we're just gonna set those to the side for right now. And we can put our embossing tool away. So when we start um, creating a rose, we work from the center out. So what does that mean? We start from the smallest petals and work our way to the largest. So I have them stacked by size and there's three of them at six and a half inches. So like I said, we're making an eight inch mini flower, which means a mini flower means all the petals are connected in the center, okay? So we're gonna use a half inch dowel rod. So if you have one of my newer dowel rod sets, I do color code them. So that would be your pink. So we place that dowel rod down in the middle of the petal and then we pinch it up with our opposite hand and roll it along. Now, if you can't get it rolled all the way around, just come in from the other side and roll it in. It doesn't need to be super rolled. It's just allowing us the flexibility to interlock the petals. So again, pinch it up and roll it along. Come in the other side to make sure it's rolled. So I just roll it a few times Loosen up the paper fibers and then come in from the other side and roll it. And voila. Okay. So now we just work with three petals at a time. So for our very first layer, we start by adding, um, we're going to interlock two of them. So for the first three petals, all our glue is placed at the very top of the petal on either side. So I'm going to randomly choose two that are opposite of one another. It really doesn't matter. Oh, I forgot to tell you, we, we do want to roll the um, petals where they meet the base. So right here where they are meeting with your metal ball stylus and one of the larger ones, you're just going to roll right around that outer circle. Okay, so that just lis lifted up my petals. And now for the same for the next two. Now we're all set. <laughs> all right, so we're going to take two that are opposite of one another. You're going to interlock them so you can see. So with it down on your flower shaping mat, 
interlock the one side, keeping the petals as evenly as possible, create the little circle or the little bud here in the middle. Okay, so it's evenly still in the center. And then once I have it where I like it, I just fold it forward and we're going to add glue over here. I still use my mini glue gun for um, the larger mini flowers or the super size. So I have one side. I let that dry for a moment. And now I can add glue over here for the other side. and bend it around. So now you just started the formation of your rose. Congratulations. Okay. Now we're just gonna go to the opposite side. So we're going to, since there's two over here and only one here, we're gonna just choose this one and we're gonna bend it up and around and you're gonna leave a little bit of a gap between that layer, okay? So like I mentioned, the first three layers, all the glue is placed at the top for the petals to grab. Okay, bend it around. And I like to hold it to dry because these are larger petals. Okay, now we're coming to the opposite side. We add our glue at the top, oops, <laughs> at the top. Fold it up and around. And then we come here again, and again, the glue goes around the top part of the petal. Okay, bend it around. And again, each layer, there's a little bit of a gap between the previous layers. And there you have the beginning of your rose. Now we take our next petal, we add hot glue to the bottom. So I like to look where the last petal was added and I look at the side petal. So you're just going to bring it straight down and place it in the center. And then I like to quick flip it over to make sure it's in the center. So if I were to rip this petal um, back, it should fall in between these two. Okay. So where do you start? Well, I like to start where two of the petals overlap. So I could either start on this side with one of these two or this one or that one. So it really doesn't matter. So we're just gonna randomly choose one and we're gonna fold it up. So again, the glue goes up here at the top part of the petal. And after each petal, you just go to the other side and you continue gluing with this method for the first three layers. We did this one, so we could do either one. I flip it around. We're going to choose this one, add our glue. Fold it up and around. Now we're gonna add our glue. You go to the opposite side. I'm just getting my glue string quick. Bend it around. 
And again, there's always a little bit of a gap between your previous layer. So now we'll go over here. And then go to the opposite side. Fold it up and around. And now we take our third petal. We're gonna do that exact same technique. Add your hot glue. So we're gonna look at a petal, place it in between these two. So keep your eye on there, come down, straight down. Okay, gonna lift it up and do the exact same technique. So glue at the top. Lift the petals up and around and glue. So it does take quite some time to make these just because you need to allow the glue to dry in between each um, petal that you're gluing. Go to the opposite side. So again, these three layers, layer one, two, and three, the glue is at the top. And I do have it noted on the PDF guide available in my Facebook group, Photofab Paper Flower Makers. Okay, go to the opposite side. Fold it up and around. Again, there's always that little bit of a gap. Fold it up and around. All right, you just finished your first three layers. Congratulations. So now we're gonna take our next three, which are seven inches wide. Crazy. <laughs> and now we're gonna use the quarter inch dowel rod. So that is my green color. Again, if you have the newer dowel rod sets. So I like to stand them up on their side with the pedal or the dowel rod at an angle. As you can see here at the top, now I'm doing it here. I'm just going to roll it back. I am taking all three of them at once. Go to the other, your next pedal, roll it back. I just find it easier doing it this way. Roll it back. Okay, now with them rolled, we're going to do our other side. So again, add an angle at the top part of the pedal. Now you're rolling it forward or towards you or up. <laughs> A couple of different ways to describe it. Now, if you are newer and you find it more difficult to roll three at a time, feel free to roll one at a time. We're going to separate them. And we're going to take our metal ball stylus tool again. And again, right where the petals meet the base around that outer circle, you're going to roll it on your flower shaping mat. And that helps lift the petals up. And just remember, your sides are rolled under. Okay. 
Right, one more to roll on our flower shaping mat. Whoops. Right around. So pretty. This um, color is from the Flamingo Paper Pack. You're going to add glue. I add a generous amount because this is a large rose with 12 layers. Look at a petal. I always look at the side when making the roses like this. Come straight down, place it in the middle, quick flip it over to make sure your placement's okay. All right, so then our decision is where are we going to start? So look for where two petals overlap. So you could do either or. We could do it here or here. It really doesn't matter. So we're just going to start here. So for now, these three layers, our glue comes out and we'll, I like to call it in a V shape. So from the bottom of your petal, you're doing a line of glue and a line of glue. And then you're going to pinch it up. Okay. So here we go. Add your line of glue, line of glue, place your index finger in the middle of that petal. Pinch your other two fingers, your thumb and your middle finger up and around. And with that middle finger, you just want to have a little bit of a gap and then hold it where those glue, glue lines are. And we're going to do this technique for all three of these layers. So layers four, five, and six. And if for some reason they come on glued, you just add a little bit more glue. And also at any time, you can take the eighth inch or the three sixteenths inch and roll any of your petals back. So now we're gonna go to the opposite side. So either one of these will work. So I'm just gonna rotate around and again, we're doing the glue coming out from the bottom. Okay. Index finger with your middle finger and thumb. Pinch up and around and allow it to grab. So make sure she's standing tall. <laughs> Now Gorilla Glue dries super fast, so it can move pretty fast. We just want to make sure it's attached. Now we go to the opposite side and we add our glue lines coming out from the bottom. Use your index finger, pinch up and around. So we do have 12 layers, so we don't want her leaning back too far. So that's why it's, she's standing tall right now. <laughs> Go to the opposite side. Again, our lines come out following the shape of the petal in a V shape. Index finger, pinch up and around. A V shape coming out. Index finger. Pinch up and around. looking beautiful. <laughs> Grab your next petal. 
add your hot glue around. I like to go around in a circle and then I'll fill in a generous amount. Okay, so we're gonna take this one. This is our last one we added. Place it in between. So if we pulled it back, it would fall in between. So come straight down. Quick flip it over to make sure it's even on the back for placement. Okay. Now we can decide where we want to start. So I think I'll start here. That'll lift up nicely. Fill in the, this gap between these two petals. So again, the V shape coming out from the bottom. Index finger, okay, pinch it up and around and allow it to grab. So I'm pinching at the bottom. So each layer, my petals are going to start to lean backwards a little bit more as your flower blooms. Okay, since we did this one, we're going to come over here, I think. Yep, that'll fill in this gap nicely. So you just go to the opposite side. Okay, place your finger down. Pinch up and around. Okay, now we're going to the opposite side. Place your finger in the middle of the petal, lift up and around, and pinch at the bottom. So you want to make sure you're pressing where those, your glue lines are. Again, I'm allowing it sufficient time to allow the glue to dry. Add your two lines, place your index finger, pinch up and around. And you always want to have this little gap in between each layer. So this flower will probably take you about maybe 50 minutes to make just because you want to take it slow with roses for sure. It all depends. <laughs> but normally it will take me about 40 to 50 minutes, depending. Okay, you have your glue lines, index finger, pinch up and around, and make sure that glue attaches. Again, there's this little gap where it's leaning back. And now layer six. We start the technique all over. Add your glue around in a circle. Oops, fill it in. Do you have a glue string? Okay, we're gonna look at this petal and place it in between. So come straight down and press.
So now we can make our choice of where which petal we want to do first. I think I'll start here. And again, our lines come out from the center. So this is layer six. One line of glue and then your second one. So it's like the shape of a V. Index finger down in the middle of the petal, pinch it up and around to allow it to grab. Now we go to the opposite side. A V shape. Okay. Place your index finger down, pinch it up and around. And after you glue the petal, just go to the opposite side. So again, we're just following the same technique for layers four, five, and six. Okay, how can you tell which ones aren't glued? Well, you can see that they're down, but you can always flip it over and then you really, you know. So since we did this one, I'm gonna come over here. Your V-shape glue. Place your index finger down, pinch up and around. Okay. And then we come to the opposite side. So we have two more petals on this layer. Add your glue in the V-shape, place your index finger, pinch it up and around, and then you want to hold it tight. So my petals are starting to lean out a little bit further. Again, you can always re-roll any of them with the 3 16 inch dowel, which you just go to the petal and roll it. But these look good yet. And our last petal for layer six, add your glue in the V shape. Place your index finger down, pinch it up and around. All right, so now we start our next three petals, which are seven and a half inches. So again, we have them stacked, all three of them. Take your quarter inch dowel rod, which is your green one if you have the newer dowel rod sets. Again, we're going at an angle, so we're just gonna go up here and roll it, oops, roll it back. <laughs> Now we're gonna to come to the other side and now I'm gonna roll them forwards or towards me again at the angle. So roll up or towards you. Then we take our metal ball stylus again and you roll where the petals meet the base. So right around that outer layer. So 
So it just lifts our petals up and it helps with the um, assembly of our rose. Excuse me. <laughs> right around where the petals meet the base. Add your glue. So we're gonna look at this petal. Oops. Bring it straight down between these two. And then I need to flip it over real quick to get it evenly on the back. So now you can start to see our petals are starting to lean out pretty far, so it's going to be a nice full flower. So if you're new to my page, PhotoFab Paper Flowers, and I am Julie, I do love a full flower. So at any time, like for the last layer, you can eliminate one of them if you didn't want it so full. But I do like, like it nice and full from every angle. <laughs> All right, so we are going to start here. Now, for these next three petals, we're going to do, we can call them little ghost eyes, glue dots. You're going to um, add your glue in a circle, okay, and closer to the bottom. Now, you just have to watch that you're making sure that you're pinching where the glue dots are. This, this, These three layers are the hardest for me personally. So, again, index finger, pinch it up. And you're going to make sure that you're pulling back in the center with your index finger, but your thumb and middle finger are pressing where those glue dots are. I do tend to hold the flower in the center there. Okay. So since we did this one, we're going to go to the opposite side. And again, these are all the ghost eyes, the circle, the glue dots added in a circle. Place your index finger in the middle, lift up the sides and pinch it to grab on, but you also want that little bit of a gap here in the center. And you need to hold it to make sure it's totally secure. Okay. Now I'm going to add some, um, I need to get another glue stick. I drop everything in the case. So I like to use the long glue sticks by Gorilla Glue. So again, I use the longer ones. All right, so now we're going to go to the opposite side. And we add our two glue dots or circles. Index finger, pinch up and around and make sure, so I'm pulling back in the center, but I'm also trying to press really hard right where I did those glue dots. All right, so I can see this one popped off a little, so I'm just going to squeeze some glue down there and press that one up again. And that happens. Certain colors, the glue doesn't like to stick sometimes. <laughs> All right. So I'm just making sure it is adhering. So we just did that one. So we're gonna come over here 
And again, the circles. Okay, place your middle finger or your index finger down in the middle of the petal, pinch up and around. Again, you're going to press really hard right where those glue dots are, but also have that little indentation there. So on the side, you can see it. And now to the last petal of layer seven. Two glue dots, index finger, pinch up and around and make sure they're grabbing. And there you have it. So our rose is really starting to take shape. We glue our next petal. So again, just that same technique. Add glue around in the circle, fill it in. Generous amount. We look at a petal. Bring it straight down and quick flip it over to make sure it's evenly in the center. And now we're going to add our petals. And again, you're doing the two glue dots or circles. Index finger, pinch it up. And let it grab and make sure you're kind of pulling down in the center and the glue is super hot at those dots so just be careful Now we're going to come around to the other side. So again, always to the opposite side, add your glue dots. Okay. Index finger, pinch up and around and allow it to grab. Again, now it's starting to get difficult to see which ones aren't glued. So this is where you can come to the back. So we're going to come over here. Add it in a circle, your glue, index finger, pinch up and around, allow it to grab. And you're pressing really tightly, pinching it where those glue dots are. And I try and keep my index finger there to pull that center down a little. Okay. So we just did that one. So we're gonna come over here. All right, pinch up.
All right, and then for your last petal of layer eight. Circular motion, circular motion, circle dots for your glue. Index finger down in the middle of the petal, pinch it up and allow it to grab. You're gonna be so happy with your result, I promise. Stand, stick in there with it, roses again. Watch it, stop the video, start slow. Go slow, 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 that's the key. And mine don't always turn out perfect, it's all okay. So now my glue dot did pop off here. So we are going to just add a little bit more. And we're gonna pinch it. Make sure that attaches. <laughs> and like I said, it always happens to me. It's more with like the pinks and the reds, but it will happen. So don't stress yourself out. You just add a little bit more glue. Now we add our last one. So we're gonna add our hot glue to the back, go around the outer edge of the circle to make sure we have a generous amount, go back and forth. Now what you can do if you want, it's easier now, they're getting larger, to just place your petals in between right from the back. Then you flip it over. So we're gonna start here, and again, we're gonna do the circle technique. So I did see one that came loose, so it's almost loose. We're gonna press that in again. So do the dots in a circle. Okay. Finger down in the middle, the index finger, pinch up and around and press. Really press it in there and make sure you have that space there. Like I mentioned, the glue dot layers are the most difficult for myself as when making roses, so don't worry. So I'm really pressing. Okay, so if you can't tell again where which ones you glued, you simply Flip it over and you can see which one. So we just did that one. So we'll just come over here and do this one. Okay. Pinch it up. And then again, you're pulling back with that index finger because our petal needs to lay back pretty far. We just did that one, so we'll come over here. Two glue dots. Okay, pinch, place your index finger down, pinch it up. And we're really pressing in there where those glue dots are to give shape to that petal. And it's leaning back. Okay. 
Okay, now we're going to the opposite side. Two glue dots, index finger, pinch it up, and press. Okay, two glue dots. And next finger, pinch it up. And then we need to get those two to grab, right? So press that thumb in there. <laughs> Okay, we're just letting that dry. And there you finish layer nine. Congratulations. <laughs> we need the crowd cheering. All right, last three petals go super fast. So with our quarter inch dowel rod, we do that same technique. We're curling our petals under at the corner. So you're just gonna go all the way around. and then again in the corner I roll up towards me Okay, and then we take our metal ball stylus tool on our flower shaping mat, and again, right where the petals meet the base, I'm pressing pretty hard to lift my petals up ever so slightly. You just go around that outer edge. And these are eight inches wide. So it did take 15 sheets of paper or 15 mats to cut it using eight and a half by 11 paper and it may be less for you but for the petals it is one petal per sheet um, and then if you're doing the sepals and the leaves it's a total of 15 again one sepal but two leaves can go on one sheet all right so now this is a super quick easy way now all we do for the last three layers is you add glue to the center of your flower. We take our petal and we're gonna place these petals in between the previous layers, right in the middle. Hopefully in the middle, right? <laughs> So if I flipped it on its side, we still need to fill in that or because my petals are hanging down a little. So we flip it over. We add our glue. My glue is stuck. All right. Go around that outer edge. Okay. 
we look at a petal and we're going to place it in between. So come straight down and press. And then you add your next one. Add your glue. And again, we're placing it in between the previous layers petals. So this one, make sure they're rolled backwards or towards you. So all the petals are styled the same. And there you have your eight inch rose and she's stunning. So it just filled it right in on the sides for us. Now we can take our sepals if you choose to use them. Now, again, I like to use them. Adds a little bit of color to the back and they peek out the sides. So I want them to be, when it's done, rolled under. So with the petals rolled up, I'm going to, or I'm sorry, with the petals rolled under, we're gonna add glue to the back side here. And the ultimate result is they're gonna be rolled under. So I just add some glue. Place it down in the middle of the flower. Again, so right now they're rolled up. And the anemone does come with the sepal and leaves. And now we're just going to place it down in the middle again of my previous layer. And she is stunning, right? Stunning, stunning, stunning. And then we already have our leaves completed. if you want and we have a different color again this is all from the flamingo paper pack by recollections from michaels so thank you for watching